good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have wwe action figure surgery episode number 12 we got some epic stuff that we're going to be doing here today guys you can see we got the acetone we got the paint we're going to be doing some customizing here you guys really like the customizing portion whether i'm you know part swapping painting uh acetone you guys really do leave me some great feedback on that and i appreciate that um one thing i want to tell you guys is that mdt live episode number 10 is or is it nine it's 10 it's 10 episode number 10 is coming soon my my mother has been in the hospital for the past week and I've been helping take care of her and stuff so I haven't been able to film as much as I would like to but she's going to be healed in Jesus name and we're going to be good so everything is great now she is out over there and she is getting better and better every single day so MDT Live should be up very soon but let's get into surgery guys we have uh, a couple things we're going to do um, I want to give a huge shout out to Mattel again for sending us this gold standard Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin what we're going to be doing with him guys is we're going to take him and we're going to obviously be switching the knee pads you guys know how i hate these freaking knee pads they're way too massive and they hinder the piss out of the articulation so what we're going to be doing is taking Ms. Dow's right here taking the kick pads off of both of these guys and switching that over i was going to use these the seth rollins cash in ones but this gold is not the same as the gold um, on the the shelton right here you guys can see it's more of a yellowish you know brighter gold and this is more of a dull gold so i think it would have looked stupid in my opinion um, this more matches the regular not the chase variant obviously this is the chase variant this matches the regular elite 63 shelton benjamin so i think that's why it works better for that figure so i'm not going to do the cash in ones we're going to use the ones from ms dow and then uh, another switch that we're going to be doing is putting this head scan the long haired triple h i love this head scan absolutely one of the best triple h heads scans he looks so bad a like that we're gonna be popping this head scan onto this toys r us wrestlemania triple h i think that's what this is or maybe it's just that triple h toys r us exclusive but anyways um somebody hit me up in my dm i can't remember who it was but they said they recommended doing a black wrist tape long haired triple h so huge shout out to whoever that was i so am sorry for not shouting out your name because i cannot remember who it was i even went back in my dms and tried to find you but i could not but huge shout out to that guy and um yeah so we're going to be switching that not only the knee pads but the head scans on these triple h's and then we're going to be doing some real customizing we're going to be taking the uh one of the head referees on mdt live you guys can see him right here i knew that underneath his shirt and pants he was a elite 32 daniel bryan so what we're going to do is we're going to acetone the designs off of all of this we're going to acetone everything you see here or should i just paint it black i really do not know i feel like painting it black would look a lot better you know the acetone can get messy i may just do that i may just switch out that but uh or paint over that we'll probably just paint over this and then we are going to uh switch out the kick pads for these neville kick pads and uh, so I'll be acetoning this off or painting that black. That way we get the full black kick pads on here. We're also going to be putting these open knee pads, these black open knee pads on this figure so that we can create our updated heel Daniel Bryan. I know you may be saying, MDT, why don't you just take your other elite Daniel Bryan and uh, do it to this figure? Well, Brad, because I don't want to waste this nice team hell no Daniel Bryan elite. I'm going to leave this like it is and then I'm going to pop my extra heel Daniel Bryan head scan over here do all that ish we said we we're going to do, throw the WWE Championship on there, and he will be an updated heel Daniel Bryan that will look absolutely beautiful. So that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. I guess we can start off with the kick pads of Shelton since it's the uh, smallest thing, and then we'll do the head scan of Triple H, and then we'll get into the customization of Daniel Bryan. All right, guys, I'm kind of insane, but I'm going to literally see if I can heat up every single thing. Like, I'm going to see if we can heat up every single thing besides the lower legs on this Daniel Bryan or this referee from MDT Live. What we're going to do is heat up Miz Dow, Shelton, the Neville kick pads, and the Triple H hits and see if I can do it all in one take. I highly doubt it, but we're going to see what happens anyway. I got my white hair dryer right here. We're going to get going and we're going to see how this works out. So let's just go ahead and give it a go. Alright guys, that was a long time, but uh, you're probably wondering why I heated this up, and that is just to get this uh, detached from this lower leg, and let's see if it's going to happen, and it is going to be a pain, but we may get it. F, we're not going to get it, so that was a waste of time, but maybe we can get the Mizdow kick pads off here, 
Uh, you guys remember I did mention this in an older video that the kick pads like this are the hardest to get off and I struggled with it in the past. Okay, so that one came off not as hard as it usually is. Again, I guess I've gotten a little bit better at that, but um, used to be back in the day, guys, I would literally cuss my figures out. Like, I'd be in the kitchen trying to do this with water. I guess I'm just better with the hairdryer overall, but I would be in there just literally cursing by myself like a loser at my figures because they couldn't, like, I could not do it, but, uh, you see that practice makes perfect. So we got the Miz Dow. Miz Dow's all good. We'll put him over for other parts later on. Um, AAA should be really, really, really easy here. Um, so his head scan's off. We'll toss that away. We'll, ta we'll uh, plug in the other head scan. And we'll go ahead and put him over here with Daniel Bryan for later. And then the other thing that we got to do is Shelton. So we'll just pop the lower leg off here. Son of a Christ. So we got Shelton's one kick pad off. Let's see if we can get the other one. Yeah, that other one was not under the hair dryer. That's unfortunate as crap. So we have the left knee pad. I guess we can go ahead and slide off this larger one and then plug in the other one that we're going to use. And um, I guess what we're going to have to do is go ahead and heat up um, the Shelton kick pad again. And I guess we can go ahead and while we're at it and heat up the, uh, the the Daniel Bryan and the Neville, and see if we can get that switch done while it's uh, while we're while we're doing Sheldon at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, round number two. Let's hit it. So we'll see if that is good to go. We'll see if the uh, referee kick pads will pop off here. Christ on a cycle. I told you they were tough to do. Let's go ahead and do Shelton. God almighty. All right, so we got Shelton's. We'll go ahead and slide this knee pad off. If it will, I think it freaking like melted into the freaking leg of Shelton Benjamin. All right, so we got that out. Uh, where's our other knee pad? We'll get that. We'll plug this in here. And Shelton will be done. He can join Triple H after we pop his kick pads back on. I'm pretty sure I'll have to reheat up the other one. I should have left it on, over here. I don't know why I didn't, but maybe it'll go on here. I doubt it, but we'll see. Freaking stupid idiot moron. Jesus! So Shelton Benjamin, we're gonna have to heat that kick pad back up. That's unfortunate. Um, but right here with Neville, let's see if we can get this detached. We did get that detached, so that's good. But back here at Daniel Bryan, or MDT Live Referee. All right, we got that one. See if we can get this one. All right, we got it. So now if we can plug in these knee pads real quick, I gotta figure out which one's left and which one's right. All right, this one's the right one, so slide this over this. We gotta hurry because we're trying to make sure those Neville kick pads, you know, don't get uh, too cool. Then they won't plug in. All right, so we got the one knee pad. Now going over to the other side. All right, guys, we got the second one. Now let's see if they'll plug into these legs. Got the one leg, got the other leg, so bam, there we go. So we do have the Daniel Bryan, the lower half of the Daniel Bryan is complete besides the acetone or the painting of the black. So now all we have to do is pop off this head scan and also uh, go ahead and heat this up so we can reattach it to Shelton. So what we're going to do is heat up this head and that kick pad, that way we can flip flap them and we got to add this head scan. The Daniel Bryan head scan needs to be heated up as well. That way, you know, we can pop it on there already. And then it'll be time to do our acetoning slash painting. All right, guys, on to the hair dryer. Let's hit it. All right, so that should be hot enough. Let's go ahead and do Shelton first, I guess. We'll just attach this kick pad. My God, I don't know why that's not going on. Jesus! All right, guys, I finally got it on there, so Shelton is good to go. We'll put him over there with Triple H. Now let's see if we can pop off Drew's head scan. That came right off. Now let's see if Daniels will pop straight on here. Just like that. And now all we have to do is do our little customization that we're going to be doing. Again, um, all we're going to be doing is uh, either... I'm, I'm really stuck. Do I need to acetone everything, or should I just paint everything? I feel like acetoning would be better. But I don't, I, just so you don't have to worry about paint chipping or, you know, that like you don't want like the logos to go through and you don't want the purple to shine through. I'm just going to acetone it and just screw it. Hopefully I don't screw anything up. 
But uh, let's go ahead and get started on our acetone. All right, guys, you guys know how we do Equate Nail Polish Remover, 100% acetone, as you see it there on the screen. I think it's like 98 cents at Walmart. Please ask your parents before using it or purchasing it, please. Thank you so much. So what I do is I unscrew the top, like you see here, and all I do, I do this. I swear to God, I've done this so many times on video, but I'll go ahead and show you guys anyway. I pour a little bit into the top there, and I just sit it down, and then I get my Q-tips like so and um, I used to just do it with a towel but it's harder to do with a towel on camera and it gets real messy and stuff so I've switched over to using this it's a lot better but um, now let's go ahead and acetone our logos off
All right, guys, I hope you did enjoy that little time lapse of me working on the Daniel Bryan. You would have noticed during the time lapse that I totally effed it up with the acetone. Um, I should have known better, better to, than to remove that big of a logo on the back of the trunk. So I went back with the black paint you guys saw there, and I painted over the designs. I probably should have done that in the first place. I think it would have been a lot more clean, but it did turn out well. I am happy with it. Now we have two different versions of heel Daniel Bryan, I guess you could say, but I'll probably be using the all black. I think it's really sick. Um, I do know that there are flames on the kick pads. That is something that are on there. There's like gray outline of, of flames, and then he had like some stripes on there. It kind of looked like a Finn Balor tights from 2016 or 17 where it had like the teeth on there. That's what it looked like, at least at TLC. Um, but uh, I'll be adding, uh, or I won't be, I'm definitely not adding those flames. I may add the gray stripes later, maybe, I'm not sure. But you guys saw I came back and I used the Mod Podge to seal it all up. That way we won't get that paint chipping that we were worried about. But uh, the rest of the fix-ups look good. Daniel Bryan here, you guys can see there's both versions there. I think the black did turn out nice and the open knee pads and everything. So I will be going forward with that heel Daniel Bryan in all my videos. Um, then again, we do have our black tape long hair Triple H. You guys can see that head scan so deadly. One of my favorite Mattel head scans ever, I think. It just looks so dirty. I love the way that looks. Just a menacing AF Triple H. Um, I'd like to sculpt a long beard onto one of these head scans. I think it would make him even look more, you know, evil or something like that. I actually need to touch up the paint on these hands, too. I'll probably do that in a later video, or I'll do it right off camera. And then, of course, we do have our gold standard Elite 63 Chase variant, uh, Shelton Benjamin here, that looks terrific now that he has these smaller knee pads. Better articulation, and he's just looking better. I may take one of my Elite 63 Sheldons, now that I have two of them, along with my, uh, my uh, variant, I may take one of my gold ones and paint a fade or, like, paint a uh, shaved head onto one of them just so uh, I don't know one of them is not bald I'd like to see what it would look like with a haircut on there not solid black I think that would look a bit odd but if we took it and you know did the light color um, sort of like his tattoo or um, you know like a clear coat sort of look I think that would top it all off but that pretty much does it for WWE action figure surgery episode number 12 guys I hope you guys did learn something that's the whole point of these videos is to show you the behind the scenes of fix ups and customs and show you guys how to part switch how to crack torsos how to paint how to mod Pods, all the good things about customizing WWE figures. That's the whole point of the series. So I hope you guys learn something every time you click on an action figure surgery video. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.